today. I'm joined in the studio by Arise News Analyst and former chairman of the editorial board of Daily Trust newspaper, Mahmoud Jager. Great to see you. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Jager. And you heard that interview with, uh, <laughs> with <laughs> the Tunubu campaign's jury Gilale here on the program. Mm. Um, subject that for us to your usual piercing scrutiny and analysis. It was the broadcast equivalent of war. <laughs> <laughs> Except yeah. I didn't have any weapons. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon was him out. <laughs> well, he, Ajuri Ngilale, is a brilliant uh, spokesman. Yeah, he, he is. He made his case very persuasively, both in the defense of the Buhari administration's record and in his projection of the Asiwa Jubola Tinubu uh, campaign mm. manifesto. Mm. One didn't have to agree with everything, but he certainly made uh, some interesting, said some interesting aspects of the Tinubu manifesto, which sound uh, in the Nigerian context almost revolutionary, mm. like the consumer credit scheme yes, that yes. he talked about. And uh, if that could be done within four years, as he said is being promised, certainly it will turn many things around. He, there are some elements of it that I was worried about. For example, I think uh, encouraging ownership of personal vehicles may not be the way to go because mm. really our streets are already full uh, of Tokumbo vehicles. Yeah, and so especially when you don't manufacture the exactly. vehicles yourself. Exactly. Although he talked about encouraging yeah. local uh, manufacturers, but possibly... Yeah, but what have they done about the ones that are already manufacturing yeah, in that Nigeria? That is true, yeah. I there mean, are some that have not been. So, uh, probably a, a very efficient public mm. uh, transport system, uh, including rail and others, would be mm. the way to go uh, in the future instead of uh, promoting private vehicle ownership. But the housing uh, element was extremely important because mm. uh, if you do heavy investment like that in middle and lower class housing, it will uh, spur uh, many sectors of the economy also into 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 growth. Mm. Uh, so those were interesting, and also the vocational training programs that he talked about. Although of course uh, that one, many states and the federal government have been trying it for many years, not always successfully. Yeah, well, uh, to be fair, the, the Obasanjo government talked about yeah. that quite a lot, but they through, didn't pull it off. Through I mean, let's face and it. NAPEP yeah. and all the It has been tried since the military yeah. uh, days, in fact, where yeah. it can always be done better, which is what they seem to be. Promising. So basically, in terms of the Tinubu plan for Nigeria, mm -hmm. some of it connected with you and some of it stuck in your throat, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, there are some things, as I said, that mm. you wonder whether it is the best way to go, like uh, this encouraging mass ownership of private vehicles. Already, that way is a problem in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, what we need is a public mass transit uh, system uh, instead of... Uh, but yeah. we're having one... But I, I guess the idea mm. is that as mm. you build a middle class, mm. they, they are much more likely to want to own their vehicles. Mm. And, and part of the process of building that middle class is to make credit available yeah. to them. I mean, yeah. credit revolutionizes society and it helps to spur the economy. Mm. I mean, that, that, that's the theory of it. Yeah. But the, the practice of it, of course, is another question mm. because it's not quite the same thing when you're in a country that mm. doesn't have the same manufacturing capacity. Exactly. as you have in the Western world, you see what I mean? So that it's mm. all in the, the country rather mm. than, you know, money starts going out to Im import this or, but you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it, of it, course, it and it also uh, uh, it has to be accompanied by other investment in infrastructure. Definitely. For example, if uh, everybody is going to have... Uh, uh, then you credit, need better roads. Then you need, yeah, then you need better roads. And yeah. also if people are going to own air conditioners and deep freezers and others, then you yep. need more electricity. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So everything is yeah. uh, linked up uh, together. But of course, the, the issue of uh, Mr. Tinubu not turning up for that Arise CDD town hall event was also discussed. So what do you make of Mr. Tinubu's absence and the way Mr. Ngelale sought to defend that absence? You see, <coughs> uh, Charles, the psychology of Nigerian politicians, and it didn't start today, mm. with respect to these interviews, is that, look, if I am the candidate of a big political party, 
it is more to the advantage of the candidates of the smaller parties mm. to share the forum, a national televised forum with me so as to get more uh, traction, more publicity, and also think they are standing on equal pedestal with me. Mm. And also, uh, public interest will be more on what I say as the candidate of a bigger party, and people will be watching out for any slight mistake that I make and latch on to it. So actually, I have more to lose mm. than to gain by appearing sure. on this kind of forum. Now, no candidate will, will tell you that uh, in, in, in stark terms. But this has happened in 1999 when we had two presidential candidates, Chiefs Obasanjo and Chiefs Olufalai. NTA organized such a debate. Chief Obasanjo failed to turn up at the last minute. We were watching live on NTA. They were saying, uh, Chief Falai is here, Chief Obasanjo is not here. Later on, he insisted that if they wanted him to talk, they will have to organize well, not a debate now, but uh, <laughs> an interview uh, yeah. for him. And uh, also in 2014, 2015, there were also attempts. I, I can't remember Channel 24 or something like that. Mm. Tried to organize and President Jonathan didn't uh, turn up. And then 24. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's all because of this calculation that, look, if I am the big masculine mm. uh, to come and share the platform with smaller candidates, nobody will say it like that. Yeah. But really, that's the psychology but, I mean, the of fact Nigerian really is that, mm. I mean, let's be clear, mm. if uh, Mr. Tinubu had turned up, mm. it would have been, as we said, this election is a referendum on the APC, mm. and he would have been on the defensive yeah, throughout. because Everybody any, will be. They'd be focused on him. Mm. I mean, because that's the, that's the job of the other parties exactly. to try and focus and say that you've done it wrong and therefore you don't deserve to come back. Because as you said, you see the presidential candidate of the APC yeah. uh, uh, has the tricky uh, problem of defending all the uh, record of the current uh, APC administration. Mm. Okay, he wants to profit from uh, anything that the APC administration has done well. On the other hand, uh, very subtly tries to distance himself from maybe some of the uh, unsuccessful uh, areas. But if you appear on a forum like that, mm. as you said, all the other candidates will be, hey, the, the Mali government didn't do this, They'll I didn't do that. And exactly. So <laughs> I, I can imagine that his strategic aides will yeah. meet and say, look, don't go to yeah. that forum. It's of no strategic yes. benefit. Well, let's turn mm. to the other issues and mm. news of the day the mm. independent national electoral commission INEC expressing concern about the challenges it faces including the recent flooding that's destroyed about 20 INEC offices along with equipment that was there how concerning is that for you it's terrible unfortunately it is a natural disaster so nobody could have done uh, very much uh, about it uh, mm. Let's uh, just hope uh, INEC will try to recover as soon as possible. Luckily, we have several dry season months mm. between now and the election. The other thing I think the INEC chairman was talking about are the litigations, mm. the ongoing litigations uh, arising from the party primary. Look, our political system is just one kind. This primary is ended in May. But the parties, I think, I think even today, there was a court order in Zamfara State annulling the PDP president mm. uh, gubernatorial mm, election. You keep coming. It was annulled a month ago. They held another one, and the court annulled it again today. Of course, I'm not blaming the judge. I don't know yeah. the facts uh, before him. But unless all these issues are resolved judicially before the election, it will keep throwing spanner Absol absolutely. in the works of uh, and, and making the yeah the job of INEC much more yes. difficult and complicated. Yes. You mentioned the the PDP. Mm. Uh, let's turn to the crisis in that party, the ongoing crisis, the divisions, the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, lashing out at the presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, saying that anyone supporting him is an enemy of the Benue people and that he would not support a Fulani man to be president. Put that in context for us as the impression grows that this will be an ethnically charged election. It might be not be across the country because apart from Governor Autumn, nobody else is talking like that. Mm. Even Governor Wiki of Rivers, as fiery as he was, he <laughs> does not step beyond certain bounds, for example. He doesn't talk about uh, mm. Atiku Abakar's ethnicity 
or even the fact that he is a northerner or even the seeming breach in the gentleman's agreement of yeah, the Yeah, although South we need to put that in context because uh -huh. Governor Autumn was reacting to something yeah. that happened in his state yeah. where um, allegedly yeah. people were killed in, in a particular village and an area by people who allegedly yes. were full and these sort well, of um, that attackers. That is true, but he has been saying it uh, for a very long time, more mm. or less throughout his tenure. But you know, this is ethnic profiling of the worst uh, mm. kind. Uh, whatever the ethnic origin of the criminals that... You can't generalize. You cannot generalize. Yeah. Because it will, it will now be we are talking about to millions that. of uh, people all over the country. Yeah. And also, you know, if it is those statements are meant to damage Atiku Abakara's candidacy, in a perverse way in politics, you may actually help, help him. him. <laughs> exactly. Because some people in the House of Fulani areas might say, ah, Okay, if you say you'll not yeah. vote for any full animal, okay, fine, then uh, let us. Let's so, vote for uh, our hands, so it was not even thing. a clever thing to say, right. not to talk of it is not uh, states manly to be talking like right. that. And really, none of the other governors who are in a uh, they, 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 they talking like that. Thing, they don't they? say yeah, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, we've got about a minute and a half or so left. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter will be vowing not to attend any debate if his counterparts from the APC and the PDP do not show up. Obviously, he was speaking in the context of that Arise mm. CDD town hall mm. event. Is he justified in saying that or should he be advisedly taking advantage of any such opportunity to show himself off to the Nigerian people, irrespective of whether the others Exactly. Attend. You see, uh, everything, it is a candidate and his strategic advisors that mm. should sit down and access. Uh, morally, you can say, yes, if the candidates of the other parties are not coming, I will also not go. But that's not the issue. The mm. issue is for you are... Uh, a strategic team to decide whether it is to your strategic advantage. When the Americans are holding their presidential debates, mm. you see a lot of conflict over, you see the strategic team will assess what is the strength of our candidate. Is he eloquent? Mm. Is he quick thinking? Does he have a nice record to defend? Does he have a very good program? And it is based on that mm. that you decide which forum you will take and what format you will insist it takes. So so it's entirely a decision of strategy. Don't worry about uh, anything the networks themselves yes. or any organizers will say. You decide what is good for you strategically. I don't blame Mr. Obi. He should also decide based on what uh, he perceives to be in his, to his advantage. And on that note, I want to say it's always a tremendous pleasure getting mm -hmm. your assessment. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> you are, of course, a leading commentator, Arise News Analyst, former chairman of the editorial board of Daily Trust newspaper, Mahmoud Jager. Thank you very much indeed.